I need one, and I'm pretty sure that nobody sells them. So today, I'm going to make it. I hope you'll stay tuned, and we'll see how this goes. Welcome back to the Schuylkill River Valley. Hi, I'm John. On my N-scale layout, I have a single track main crossing a double track main at 90 degrees. So I'm going to need a crossing. I did a very cursory search and found exactly what I expected that nobody sells such a thing. So I'm going to have to make it. It can be a little unnerving to cut into turnouts and crossings that we buy, but this should not be a big modification. So let's get started. I started with a pair of commercial crossings. These are from Atlas. They're code 80, which matches the size rail that I'm using. I already have my track diagram. So it was a simple matter to line up the crossings clamp them together and mark them where I needed to cut. I cut the first crossing, trimmed back the excess molded plastic, and that's when I realized that making the mark with a hobby knife really wasn't such a good idea. I could see the mark perfectly until I put that crossing down. When I picked the second crossing back up, I couldn't find that mark. It wasn't a big deal. I just lined them back up again and made the mark on the bottom where I could see it. So I cut off the excess rail from the second crossing, cleaned up the, the rail, filed, filed off any burrs that were created, and trimmed back the excess molded plastic. When I tried to connect the two crossings, I realized that I had not left enough room for the rail joiners. So to, to, so to accommodate the joiners, I took my hobby saw and cut back right along the rail about, oh, maybe a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. I trimmed off the plastic tabs on the side and the little piece of plastic that was remaining underneath the rail. This gave me plenty of room to get my rail joiners on and connect up the two pieces of the crossing. So once I lined them up and made sure that everything was still straight and matched the, the track diagram, I realized that one of the cuts I had made on the rail was errant and I had a slightly bigger gap than I wanted. I don't think this is going to be a problem, so I'm just going to go with it. At this point, it was a matter of just soldering the rail joiners in place, and I can now clean up the excess flux, and it's ready to, to be installed. I haven't actually installed this crossing yet. I still have a little bit of work to do on the bridge and the approach tracks, which feed the double track side of the crossing. But the crossing is ready when I am. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got something from it. I know I did. I learned that I despise N-scale rail joiners even more than I do HO scale. But that really didn't come as a big surprise. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Until next time.